Hi boys and girls, Brucey here again with another um, guitar opinionated piece and today I'm going to throw an outrageous statement out there at you and that is it's not because you can't play it, it's because you can't hear it. Uh, a lot of the uh, things I've encountered with um, students and myself is that um, you're not hearing the ideas you want to play in your head, you're just kind of trying to whittle away and that's where a lot of um, mistakes and problems come from is you need to be able to hear things before you can play them. Um, you know, you can learn licks, you can learn exercises, but when you try and apply them, you need to be able to hear them in your head and, and how they sound. And that's particularly important when you're starting to tr try and play fast. You need to be able to hear in your head the maybe 16th note rhythm, one E and a two E and a three E, or the um, uh, six triplets like takada 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 and you need to then hear the rhythm of what's playing like the click of the metronome and if you can hear um that's more important than just thinking i'm going to try to play as fast as you can you need to lock in with the rhythm that's going on and you'll be surprised and obviously sometimes that rhythm is going to be too fast and it'll be beyond your ability beyond my ability to maybe play uh, 16th notes at 200 bpm or even like 160 bpm um, and what you need to do to get up there is be able to hear one and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two at 160 and then you can literally apply that um, and hear how your lines fit in with the rhythms underneath. And if you can start to hear those one and two and three and four on, or triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, or one E and a two E and a three E, or whatever kind of rhythm you're playing, along with the beat that you're playing, you can then hear it and then you can play it and you'll be surprised how your phrases will improve. That also goes for the notes as well. Um, you might be able to play lovely, lovely lines that little, um, licks that you've learned from all over the place um, but if you can't hear how they play against the new track you're playing against then it's not going to work so I really think that it's important to be able to hear something before you can play it and if you can if you can hear it and can hear how it sounds then you're going to be able to play it more effectively um, in your head what do you think um, like I say this is probably an outrageous statement but uh, I, I'm, this, I'm certainly an advocate of this and uh, I think it's quite an important thing to bear in mind when you're trying to practice and maybe stuff struggling with things. I think if you can't hear them at the speed that you're trying to play them at, then you're going to really struggle to, um, to play them. I hope that was useful.